Okay, just uh, another look here. It's another one of my mini mating nukes. I've just taken it down from from uh, the stand where I have them all. Do their, do their thing up there. So we'll just have a look inside. I've already found the queen in there and, and marked her previously. And uh, what I do is I use a drawing pin to mark what the hive status is. So if the drawing pin's over here, there's a, a queen cell in there. If the drawing pin's in the middle, I have a virgin queen in the hive and drawing pin on the right hand side of the mini nuke means there's a mated queen in there and if there's nothing in the hive as far as queens I, I put the pin down on the on the foot so it's just a, a way for me to keep track of what status the hive's at so let's have a look inside this one's getting a little bit low on bees now so I'll, I'll leave the queen in here for another week or so I think just to allow her to lay a bit longer and get a bit more brood in there and when that hitches that'll boost the, the hive up there's probably only another couple of rounds of queens out of this hive before the season's over for me anyway a bit of honey stored in that comb there These bees had at one point uh, been queenless and had their own self-raised queen in there but that's, that's long gone and they're just tearing down the bit of comb that's left or the bit of queen cell that's left there. So it's just honey and pollen stores on that frame or that bar. Here's the queen. I might just put this back down and try and get the thing to focus. So this queen came from a Carney Island mother black queen and this is uh, just an open mated cross red paint on here because that's what I pulled out of the shed not following any particular um, coating for the year for the queens. Looks like I've got a little bit of paint on the tip of her wing too. That was more from when I put her in the cage to, to dry off. So it was a pretty good blob of paint that went on her.
thing about raising uh, queens or rearing queens in these mini mating nooks is because of the, the volume of the hive is quite small there's not many bees in there, a few hundred, three hundred bees maybe a, up, up to double that if it's a bigger one um, bees don't generally get too aggressive just because they don't have the resources to be able to have too many defenders which is also a problem if you're trying to protect them from wasps and the likes or robbing but uh, haven't had that trouble so far and so the only real problems you have are from when you whip the lid off too fast and you get give the bees a, a reason to get defensive looks like they're grooming the queen at the moment probably tidying up that bit of paint on her wing going gone Oh, she's disappeared in there anyway. So, good look at uh, a newly laying queen from one of my mini-mating nicks. Enjoy. <laughs> 